What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to the Beastly Gamer channel. Got a little channel update. I wanted to get back with you guys and express myself. No, I do not have my laptop back. I'm actually using my backup HP that's been sitting in my wife's office and uh, it is doing the job for the time being. The, the update coming from the computer repair shop is they put a new motherboard in there and it still isn't fixing the problem. So they want to take the processor out and uh, see if that's the issue. So hopefully I hear back from them tomorrow. But I want to talk to you guys about Call of Duty Black Ops 3. Now this game was just revealed and I want to give you guys my thoughts on the, the revelation of it. Tell you how I felt about it and how those feelings have gradually changed. Uh, the re big reveal was last Sunday and here we are on Tuesday and I was pretty excited to see it. Black Ops 2 is my favorite Call of Duty game. Treyarch is my favorite COD developer and I was really looking forward to seeing this because I wanted more Black Ops 2 and the initial trailer looked fantastic it looks phenomenal graphically it's on par and it is definitely a current gen game only just by the graphical prowess of the game but I started to see things that looked very reminiscent of Advanced Warfare Sledgehammer's Call of Duty and uh, the first thing I saw was what appeared to be an exosuit and uh, I saw characters moving around and, and, and sliding around stages really fast and my initial thoughts were damn it. Treyarch has uh, has done the same thing that Advanced Warfare has done. They've gone the, the way of Sledgehammer and I even talked about it on the Beastly Thought Show guys. I was a little depressed about it. I was thinking that we were going to get more of the same and uh, Come to find out, there have been a few people in the YouTube world and in the entertainment world that actually had an opportunity to play this game in, uh, in a beta type setting. And they played the multiplayer and they were actually able to uh, regurgitate some information about it that have kind of eased my worries and eased my woes. Uh, Black Ops 3 does not have exosuits, at least not in the way that we know them from Advanced Warfare. They do have biometric suits that are integrated into your human body that allow you to do certain things like boost jump. There is a new boost jump that gives you the ability to reach higher uh, you know, land landmarks and traversal points, but that's pretty much it. You're going to also be able to have an elongated slide, which kind of gives you the ability to slide around corners and around, around the map on the ground. Uh, Treyarch has stated that they want this game to be boots on the ground, guns in the air. They want players to be on the ground, and they say that you will actually be rewarded by keeping your ass on the ground. There is no double jump in this game. There is none of this crazy mid-air strafing around. Advanced Warfare, as you guys see, it looks like ping pong balls. People are just flying all around. So much chaos. Uh, they have redesigned the map layout in Black Ops 3 to make it more reminiscent of the... If you guys remember, Black Ops 2 had some really great map designs. And uh, they have stated that they have given it lane design. So there's going to be multiple lanes for you to traverse in the multiplayer arena. And that gives you more of an opportunity for deliberate thought and planning your executions versus being in the middle of a wide open arena with 20 or 30 people aiming their sights at you at all times. Advanced Warfare, you never had that ability to just tear up a whole team by yourself because no matter where you go, there's always someone right behind you. So I'm really happy to see that they have reworked or at least given deliberate thought to their level design and kind of toned back what they've done uh, in Advanced Warfare. Now, I'm not going to say at all that Advanced Warfare is a terrible game. I mean, I actually have fun when I play it. It just feels so different. It feels far removed from what I'm used to in Call of Duty. I'm sure a lot of you guys will agree. Uh, when I first saw it, the, the idea and the thought of the advancement and the evolution of the Call of Duty franchise was very enticing to me. But when I got my hands on the game, it just felt like it was a little too chaotic. You know, the chaotic uh, gameplay. I didn't mind the exosuits as much. I think that the way that the control was implemented was great. But the level design did not go well with the exo movement. And to me, that just the chaos ensued. But you can still get into the game and have fun. Another great thing that they're doing in Black Ops 3 is they're allowing players to team up and play the campaign multiplayer. So you're going to be able to actually team up with up to three other players and play four player campaign and go through the entire campaign with another player. And for me, that's going to be some of the Beastly Thoughts guys. It's going to be my wife. I'm going to have a fucking ball. And I'm looking forward to that. 
That'll also turn the tide for people who only play the multiplayer portion of Call of Duty games. Now the multiplayer portion is going to uh, actually blend with the campaign. I think that's awesome. I think they're kind of learning a little bit from Destiny and seeing that players want to try multiplayer in different ways. And Call of Duty has always had, you know, spec ops and, and co-op modes. But I think that actually being able to go through the entire campaign with somebody is going to be really awesome. Another thing they talked about during this reveal and, and the uh, news that persisted afterwards is that there are going to be new specialists in multiplayer modes. And of course, I'm not talking about everything, just some of the things that entice me. And these specialists, are, they have basically super moves. And uh, these super moves kind of reminded me of Destiny. There's one character specialist class that has basically the golden guns from Destiny. There's another one that comes down and has a huge area of effect shockwave, just like in Destiny. And they, there's some others too. They actually revealed five, and there are four that they haven't revealed as of now. So Black Ops 3 to me is looking pretty exciting. I don't know if I'm cautiously optimistic or just optimistic, but I feel a lot better now than I did during the initial reveal. I want to know what you guys think in the comments below. Are you guys excited about this game? Is this something you're even considering picking up? Are you guys done with Call of Duty, or do you think that Treyarch can bring Call of Duty back from the grave after Call of Duty Ghost and after Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Let me know in the comments below. I thank you all for watching and showing all your love and support. Those thumbs up do mean a lot, guys. And if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.